Coming up on Mountain News this morning, a nonprofit organization that worked hard to feed flood survivors returns to our region for a follow up visit. And an organization out of Pikeville works to bring Christmas cheer to flood survivors who are unable to spend the holidays at home. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News this morning. Good morning to you. Almost five o'clock here. I'm Dakota Makris. Thanks so much for waking up with us and it's I'm glad to be back with you all after a brief little break. Let's head over to Brandon Robinson for a look at our forecast this morning. And Brandon, there was some frost on my windshield this morning. Oh yeah, but absolutely. you'll be happy because I um, started my car before I even came to work Good this morning. Good job. I, look at me. I woke up early enough just to it rained for about 20 minutes or so. Good but deal. I know. I, that's awesome. I unfortunately, I remembered late. Uh, and I started my car late, so I had to uh, alternate with yeah. the windshield wipers <laughs> and the win washer fluid to get the ice to stay off of yeah. mine until my car got warmed up. So I ran a little bit behind this morning, but we've got a lot to talk about as we head deeper into this forecast, especially all eyes on later this week. Let's talk about right now first. We'll get to later in the week, a little bit later, I promise. Temperatures out there, those same four sensors that were out Friday are still out this morning. Not sure what's going on with those, but the sensors we do have online, teens and 20s. Looks like our cold spot is... 16, actually no 15 in Clintwood over in southwest Virginia. The warm spot is Prestonsburg and Jackson tied at 24 out there this morning. So it is chilly. It is frosty. The skies were clear last I checked. A little extra because even though there's no school right now, you're still going to have to go to work. It's a holiday week, but we're not to the holiday just yet. It's Monday and it's cold. So grab yourself a little extra as you're heading out the door. Out the door forecast, we are going to see again a mix of sun and clouds as we head deeper into the day. Might be more clouds than times and temperatures only top out in the upper 30s. Dakota. All right, Brendan, thank you so much. In the last four and a half months, countless individuals have come together to help those impacted by the flood, including a nine year old girl who knew she wanted to make a difference in the lives of other children. Arlissa Williams has that story. When most kids celebrate their birthdays, they might ask their families for Barbies, bikes or other toys, but not nine year old Carly Cress. I just didn't run anything really, and I didn't really know anything because I kind of wanted to get a rid of some stuff, so. After spending some time volunteering with her grandmother following the flood, Cress knew she wanted to help other people who were in need. It just kind of was devastating. You can see a lot of parts of trees, cars, when her birthday rolled around this November, instead of asking for presents, Cress asked her family and friends to buy pajamas for kids impacted by the flood. It was kind of cool because I knew that I was helping other kids that I didn't really know, but I knew what they were going through. Over the past month, Cress and her family gathered 68 pairs of pajamas, socks, and toothbrush kits to hand out to families staying at the Mine Maid Adventure Park in Knott County. I'm very proud, but she's always had a tender heart towards other people. She's always wanted to give past what she has. Cress says she feels happy to give back, adding that she hopes she can inspire other kids to do the same. Thank you, and happy late birthday. You know, Jesus smiles real big when you do stuff like that. When you help, you always feel better. When you're helping instead of getting. And when most of the time when you help, God will provide you and he will help you. Celebrating a birthday she'll never forget. In Knott County, Alyssa Williams, WYMT, Mountain News. Well, Carly was joined by her grandparents and her cousin, Charlie, who helped to hand out the pajamas and other items during the weekend. She says she wanted to do something like this because she felt it was something her grandmother would have done. A nonprofit is coming back to serve the people of the mountains for a second time. Volunteers with Operation Barbecue Relief were here in the region serving people in August. And now the organization has returned to help once again. Volunteers say they like to follow up with disaster impacted communities months after the initial event because these visits can sometimes be just as important to volunteers as they are to survivors. This is one of the reasons we always go back to areas that we've been to before. Not only to, to still tell you we're still thinking about you, but also our volunteers are just as impacted by being able to help the community. There's stories that are told. There's a, that we call it the look, being able to uh, have that connection with the community and just have that conversation. There's times where we just 
we'll take somebody aside for 10 minutes, give them a hug, and just let them know that we're thinking about you and we know it's difficult. Operation Barbecue Relief will be set up outside Hazard, the Hazard Food City on Tuesday at 11 a.m., prepared to give out 3,000 meals. During the last few months, the Pikeville Rotary Club has been touching the lives of flood survivors across eastern Kentucky. Well, thanks to generous don donors across the state, nation, and even around the globe, the club has been able to raise $300,000 that's been used to purchase space heaters and Visa gift cards for families in need. This past weekend, the club was at the Mine Made Adventure Park in Knott County, looking to make the holidays a little brighter for the families there. It's a great feeling to be able to help anyone, and, and these people certainly are in a, in a terrible situation and need all the help that they can get. Uh, Christmas is a big part of those kids' lives, and we feel like we've made a difference. The Pikeville Rotary Club has uh, impacted, has helped impacted families in Perry, Floyd, Bretha, and Knott Counties, to name a few. The group plans to be at Letcher County Central High School to hand out items today. Well, a group in Lexington raised money to purchase bicycles for schools in their community. Members of the Lexington Alumni Chapter of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity raised $10,000 for its second annual bike drive. Uh, members say giving back to the community is really the purpose of their fraternity and the success of this year's bike drive inspires them to look ahead to the future. To see their faces, you know, and they're running around like, I want that bike, I want that bike. So that's a, a great look, a great feeling to be a part of that and see the, the elation on the kids' faces when they can see that that's going to go home with me, that's going to be my ride for the summer. So that's a good feeling. 100 bikes will go to children at the Promise Academy at Williams, Wells, Brown, Brooker, T. Washington, and Brenda Cowan Elementary Schools. Well, thank you so much for getting your cold Monday morning started with us here on Mountain News this morning. When we come back, dozens of passengers aboard a Hawaiian Airlines jet are recovering from a very bumpy ride in the sky. One more on that when we come back. We're enjoying our last f uh, days of fall on a chilly note, but the big question remains, will we have a white Christmas? I'll break down the forecast in about three minutes.